seven deadly sins. For centuries they served as a road map, showing us how to avoid the moral hazards of life. But no matter how hard we try, none of us are out are without temptation. Take gluttony. Now this is a sin that I am most familiar with, but I am just following a long, proud tradition. The Romans were notorious for their literary feasts, and as time progressed, kings and queens the world over with no, no, no limit to their pleasure. King Henry the First defeated the French, conquered Normandy, but he was a great, uh, but he was a great bowl of his favourite dish, lumbery eels that did old Henry in. That was nothing compared to what toppled King Adolf, Frederick of Sweden. The good king demanded that a meal of unparalleled scope, lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, herring, champagne, and 14 servings, the delectable pastry, Sanabria. He died still clutching his spoon. But gluttony isn't just for the rich and regal today. Gluttony has found its way into the masses. Yes, we are all glutterous creatures, at least in the eyes of Dr. John Basso. The good doctor has a very different take on the cure for our sin. This is a this is Big Blair. I'm going to do this zoom in on you. He was our spokesperson. Keep going. But he forgot about his health. Perfect. And he died. Done, done. That's a take rap. It's a sacrifice that has been made. Somebody has got to stand here and say, screw it. Wake up, world. You're fat. No, I'm not going to call you plus size. I'm not going to say you're poultry. 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 No, you're fat. Lose some weight or just hurry up and die and be done with it. I don't know. Didn't know that I'm qualified to really comment on the human condition. I'm just a guy with a spatula. I own the heart attack grill. It's a medically fiend restaurant where the bag bad boys of hamburgers on menus purposely but supposedly designed to be offensive so f- absolutely and as healthy as possible is this is a single bypass burger half a pound of five five slices of bacon anything is sauerkrauted with slather s- 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 chili on top double bypass triple bypass quadruple bypass that's nine 1,983 calories, the butterflat shake, the thick, rich, descendant piece of heaven. We also had large, large fried, fried fries, fresh cut potatoes, deep fried, your lard, then we smother it in cheese and chili. We have jello shots that, that come in a syringe, mmm, as hard vodka, we have cigarettes as well. A field of cig- on a cigarette, that's like a condom doing sex. That's like a condom doing sex. We're selling a legal but legal commodity. And we're selling it and selling it and selling it. A single, everything. The last time I was here, I had a triple bypass, but I left. I really had, I really had a triple bypass. 90% bockage. What are you be- beating right now? A single bypass. We don't want to be popular. We want to be famous. We want to be hated. I wake up in the morning and say, how can I be more despicable? Well, will the evil Dr. John finally make everyone on earth is so fat they can't walk anymore? Maybe he's trying. As a hammer, he's got got any world. I had a fascination for fitness. I wanted to help people. I opened up the out in and out gym workout facilities to try to make a change in people's lives. Then I got in a very horrible letter for a burger chain that, f- that felt my in and out workout infringed on the name of their burger chain. They were suing me personally. They were going after my house. I had two children. My wife was pregnant, a third child. It was the entire time you see me assessing over their business model. It was simply supplying people with what they wanted. Then the idea bit bridged from there. Well, let's give people what they want. Let's do it a way that might actually help them. My wife didn't understand. She's a foreigner. Every time she, he brings up an idea, I think I don't like it generally. I say no, it's not going to work. 
but he does anyway. Honey, that's a new thing about being American. You're never going to lose the weight. You're never going to lead a healthy and normal life. Food's so cheap and relative to what we earn. There's no limits. And we know, you know what? Without a couple, within a couple of weeks, people started coming into the, in the doors. We're happy. So here, awesome. And I realized it's not the nurses and not myself. It's not you, the burgers. It's the patients, the customers. They are, they are the real show at the heart of tech grill. I am reflecting society. Are you doing it to them what they want me to do? Aroma just sparks. When you're biting into that, you have a, you have a true sexual relationship with that cheeseburger. It's hard to imagine there being someone eating it. That's sex. You better start with it from the bottom. You, you're too handy. A lot of people take it apart and will eat one piece at a time. And when each sweat start to go in. That setback, like to decay. What was I thinking? They sweat profusely. Oh, my heart's going faster. It's weird. If you don't finish your burger at the heart attack grill, you get several spankings from an sexy nurse. Ah, oh, my favourite. Have another one. No, really. Have another one. Good job. That's not the end. We had to ratchet up. We had a huge electronic kettle scale in the middle of the restaurant. If you weigh over three and fifty pounds, you eat absolutely for free. You get on the scale, they give you a big muscle shot, champion. But then they go home and they go, wow, I'm going to die. I'm a fat freak. That's why everyone applaud, and that's why everyone was applauding for me. All right, give a hand to the guy who just finished the quad. Like I'm calling for I'm looking for ways to get the message out further. We have quite a bit of publicity and two different coronary issues in the restaurant where the paramedics came and the paramedics took those people out. We have one in March and one in April. It's horrifying. Okay, roll it. One of the nurses ran back to the kitchen and she says, Dr. John, someone is having a heart attack. I say, business is good. They had diagnosed, they had diagnosed the woman with complete Compulsory collapse. It's a heart, a hu- a your lungs, everything just seized. We sacrifice people. Our spokesmodel was sacrificed about another two inches. Who needs these old pants? I can, I can eat for free. We all know Blair passed away promoting the heart attack, the real. Keep going. Is a media resistance. A six when the heart of that grill. He's dead. He wasn't even 30. So this is a man who's not giving you this. So this man is not giving you pulls at all. Zero pulls. There's a person on the planet who that wasn't supposed, there wasn't a person on the planet who wasn't supposed to this. Heart attack grill. Your dog pusher. When the bear died, they, they was getting off Point with me. I realize the potential of going everywhere. There's a fanatic religious cause. My daughter's ten, and in four or five years, she's going to be at the door as a receptionist, wearing a sneaky little nurse's outfit. And Janet's hope is that she does run the company and continues with the same message at multiple locations in different languages. There is a possibility that every human being on the planet Earth might hear about the heart attack grill, about how bad we are, good and evil need one another. That's why the world needs a heart attack grill. So that's the answer. Or we just pass the point of being saved. Let's ask Donnie Nicky. Certain foods are gosomatic for me. When your stomach gets really, really tight, you feel like, and I, you feel like I'm at a point. You continue to eat the outer body experience, and it actually makes me arouse. Can I say that? In a normal day, I'll probably eat three meals that I have, and then I have my snacks in between. That's what it, uh, I'll be like, my cheese nips. Would you like some nuts? Oh, I'm not a freak. Curses, peanuts, honey, roasted, frosted, flakes, fruity pebbles, cocoa puffs, donuts, chicken nachos. Oh my god, have you ever had chicken nachos? Wonderful, I love steak, broccoli and cheese. It's my favourite veggie. Veggie. Sticks of butter every, every day. Carbs, 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 rice, crispy rice, cheese and rice. And something else that's missing. Bagel chips. I forgot about the bagel chips. 
I'm 706 pounds. Don't have a limit. I want to be the fattest entertainer in the world. I really want to be a star. I have my own suit. Sorry, it's called mzfuff.com. If anything, it's everything about me. I put a picture up, videos. And there are so many people that love big, beautiful women. It made me feel like I'm a queen, which I thought I was a princess, but now I'm a queen. Like, when the, what's the chance of waking up with a more male? Right now, someone seeing your, some of your size, probably not very good, very good right? So what's that, that's been said is like finding a diamond in the rough. For that, what are you like? I used to draw pictures of plus size women. I used to hide them under my bed in my room. First time I met Justin, it was crazy. And my first thought was like, just go over there and start touching, hugging and squeezing. Do, do you know you can't do all that, you know? Girl think I'm trying to rape her or something. So I was like, just don't touch. I was like, he's so cute. I had a lot of things in common. Watching movies together, smoking together. I like to cook. She liked to eat. Bam, bam. Cheese. You know, I asked about fetishisms. Fetishisms a couple of times. I was like, what's that? So I googled it. I'm dealing with men. They like women who have gained weight. Or women have liked men to gain weight. Or women that like women to gain weight. You're going to get fatter and fatter for this shake. So we started trying it. He was like, order two pizzas. I was shy at first, but I was eating because I like to eat two. She tried to eat ten double cheeseburgers in one sitting. It felt right. It took over my whole world. We were enjoying each other as I indulged in these cuisines. I get full and I don't feel like eating anymore. He'll come and he'll feed me like I am his baby. I rub her back and I burp her. I'm encouraging. Like, like. You're exercising, your personal trainer says, you're two more in you. I know you've got two more in you, that's me. He had a notebook of, I want her to eat this, and that for this meal, and that for dessert. Sometimes, might even throw a weight gain shake in there. I go through a level sometimes, to where I don't eat the food I take for taste. I do it for impact of what food's going to do. We're in a zone like high as hell which pushes you to eat more. If you eat more, you gain more. My body is a canvas. I want my butt to be bigger. I want my hips to be bigger. I want my tummy to be bigger. I want my face to be rounder. I want my fingers to be pumper. I think fingers are cute. I like the way plus-size women feels. I like the softness, the plushness. They get more, get more what, what you love. I love the s- sex in the mirror. Yes, with the lights on. I don't like doing it in the dark. The cover's on. Who the hell, who don't likes that? I tell him, like, Tim, like, feed me while we're having sex. I feed her a cupcake, you know, while we're doing it, you know. That's the best, oh boy. It just feels so glad inside, like bubbly. You know how it feels when you sexy rounds. That's how I feel with food. Sometimes she's lying on the bed. I climb on, I get on her, I let it just... And just lay flat like a blanket. It's like you have a cloud. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you could think of soft. It's like my personal living, living bed, you know? It's like being held by a giant. It's like putting a peanut inside a marshmallow. I don't feel anything bad about saying it, you know? I'm 24. I'm 24, but that, well, that makes me feel good, for, you know? Finally, it makes me feel good. Finally, make me, her makes me feel good. He really shows me a different life. Scary, scary to actually, to actually own up to deep fantasy. Cause you do fantasies, the dark, but now I want to be open. I want it to be mainstream. The show, this is okay. I want you to see my fantasy. I want you to feel my fantasy. Embrace my fantasy. Love or hate it, but you can suspect it at least. If you don't like it, it's okay. I go, I go do thoroughly enjoy it, tell love. But all go, good stories must come to an end. That's why some folks have tasks for creating a comfortable resting place for those of us who need to shed more than just our mortal coils to leave the earth. 
1985, my father sat around the kitchen table and I some wallpaper in a casket that you could be proud to put your mother in. If we known here because we build the really large oversized caskets. Not much so it's not so much that we build a lot of caskets, in fact, are we building them at all? Why do we need to build oversized caskets? And why are we even here? Why are we doing this? Everything is made here in the shop and it's in and it's hand welded. I cut the pieces for sewing sewing and still them in the casket. And the first time I did, it was a kind of eerie. A casket that size, you look at someone weighs up to one thousand one hundred pounds. It's like sitting up a pencil against a watermelon. Larger folks are not just wider, it was a little bit thicker. You realize that this problem with the funeral directors started calling us up and saying the lids weren't closed. It's a problem. Well, Keith is a very creative. He does challenges like all men do. We designed the whole lid, basically. If you want a general use of, you will have fun. Very large women are mostly like a bare pair. Men are work with a delicious apple with two pick legs. They were kind of used as a guide to help the funeral directors determine what size casket to use. I, my name is A.J. Dow, a current owner of the several funeral homes in the state of North Carolina, Virginia, and Ohio. It used to be where we say abuse cases occasionally, but it's frequent, becoming almost a daily occurrence. It's all in how you present to the family. I would say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, do you decide your mum? We have to think outside the normal protocol. We want to be dignified as we can, but there is really no dignified way to do this. When it's your reaction, well, then we get a, call, get a call. Yeah, we've got a five, big 500 pounder. Well, do you want to know that? F- well, then, you know what you, uh, your work, that, that you, that your work, you know that your, that your work cut out for you for the next three or four days. Do you want me to be, want me to be graphic? We search of devices that allow us to make, move the fat. The device is called a tow, tow car, which is a long hollow needle that kind of resembles a small sword. It's such a device that goes in a basic like a kind of lip reduction. A police person looking at probably a six to gallon, eight gallons of fluid. Everything is usually double or triple. It's an art form because you're creating a final picture. A casket is framed and a picture cremation process is different too. If you're an oversized individual, you have to commit at a lower heat because the person's body fat starts a grease fire. The amount of fat acts like a fuel. You get 17,000 BTUs of fuel per pound of fat. As they melt down, the fat starts to spread and starts to liquefy. It because cause the machine to it it's because the machine to overflow and actually spill out into the floor. Fat yes, yes. In our industry we're not looking for something that different, unique here. We're prepared to make a few normalcy of our society. Our way of life. Like I said, funny sin this company. A seduction is so small it grows to the point where it drowns each out each and every of a voice of a reason for the rationing, screaming at us to what change our ways.